Soon, getting back into Elder Scrolls. Although I didn't actually check the status of the servers, but I believe it should be okay. Yes, it is. Uh, maintenance, July 1st. So that's Monday, I believe. Yes. So Monday I won't be streaming then. Which means I'll stream Tuesday, Thursday. My um, the bond is under the desk. Let me double check. I put the washing on, but I can't hear it. Let me just double check it's actually running. I can't remember to actually hang it up. Bunch of stuff. I need to do in town. Bunch of things beneath researching. Ah. Guild traders. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, place. And the flags here somewhere. There we go. Damn, how long has that got left? Three days, fuck. And lift. I think I've got any jewelry. Oh. 
two days. One day. Station. Oh. On the coil. I can mention I know it's going to change. Visitors today. Outsiders asking about the Rana. Which? Were they friend or foe? My rooks couldn't tell. He met them in private, without Lady Blade. Oh, wonder if she's finally fallen out of favor with the yard. The finest girl in the major color up there. Max Smith, Carpenter, Alchemist. There it is. Goods, treatments. That's my name. That looks like I have to check out the guild. Holes. Spell. Smith. Now that I've done those three, it's 24 hours, but apparently not. Sites like you is the reason.
Interesting. So my printer are completely they seem completely off all the time. Sky tail. We call it the hunter, but I think you would refer to it as the thief. That's the actual dig site. A death horse? Oh, that's a minotaur. Just been taken out by that dude. What the hell is that? I have Sauron, but couldn't if it could move. Yeah, the estimate's saying it'll take two days to print. I'm pretty sure that's not accurate.
Oh, lucky. Is flirting them. Um, exactly where it is. Uh, clans friendly. These plaques are as old as these hills, Harrier. Take a look. Mage. That's the witch in the stars. Or the mage, as you call it. And which kind of star and the mage being similar? They're not safe being. to be the kind of person who pours their heart out to the gray host attacking people both in the reach and western skyrim for a start raven watch agents who put their lives at risk fenorian gwendus adusadaro really i wonder sometimes the raven watch one where are they oh my husband Borfogar. We got into a shouting match, and Snowy ran away. She's a bit funny. I told Borfogar he better go right now. It. Remember, Snowy laughs that whistle. Oh, we trained Snowy to come for a treat when she hears that whistle. She loves treats. Prospecting. We're miners. I am. But Borfogar's. Okay. <laughs> Dramatic, dramatic mountains. We think the dwarves placed these plaques, but no one really knows. See what that one says. That depicts the sky tail of the headsman. I think your people call it the warrior. 
Are we triangulating something? Come to me eventually. You missed it too. What a pair we make. What did Hersene show us? He revealed the snake, which I thought was just a substitute for our prey. But the sky tails on the plaques, the wit. Look at your map. See how the marks form the shape of the snake in the stars? And see how one mark is missing? If I place it here, we see the snake in its entirety. That's where we need to go. Okay. As for the rich god, storytellers say the dwarves knew the stars better than anyone. Strange passion for people who lived underground, eh? Anyway, let's get to this final location. The snake in the stars is the... The witch shines. He carries an axe, doesn't he? The headsman stands for swift end. The hunter is the wiliest of the sky tales. Clever as an old fox and swift as a young one. Just look at all this dwarf craft. The entrance to Batharsel must be around here somewhere. Always a trick with dwarves, though. Look at these pillars. More sky tales. Turn those stones in the right. That looks right to me. Okay, cool. You can tell me when it's in the right direction. This oh. looks promising. Indeed. A dwarven lock of some kind. Wait, here's that. Oh, wait, it's a friend. You hear that? Well done. So, what kind of river is a portal? That did something, Harrier. That was a hidden that entrance. That did it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Something's not right. A darkness. The door opened, but something happened to Irana. She mentioned something about her duck. No, but she has a sensitivity that I do not possess. Mind the shadows and be on your guard. Lady Belaine has had more time to research the Arkzan keystone than we I certainly hope not. Between the dwarven... Dwarven keystones not only provide access to forbidden or otherwise sealed areas, they also tend to rape... All right. I'm ready when you are. Okay. She's safe. Gwendus and I can cover more ground on our own. Let's find the keystone. Pull the roof. It's on our own. So this is Bathar's LA. Mind your feet, Harrier. Every bit of metal in here means to do you harm. Like those who like many of those in the future. Not not pop out. I know not.
auf, ey. And I didn't mean to do that. A special amount of flat to all and you. Never seen a board crop like this. It must have been chiefs who lived here. Chiefs are grand metal workers. I believe they had chiefs. Steel. I didn't realize it was anything stealable in here. out of the ground. It's an entire city under the earth. Hiding something worse than me. Damn it. They've been to do all that time, but it might have been unnecessary.
We're getting close to something, Harrier. Something old. Harrier man. Oh. The tales were true. So I sent crafters down to carve it out. We can deal with the rest of these myth beasts. Oh. That one is. Is this not coal? Looked like it was made out of metal. I can reach soon. Hear something wailing and scratching at the walls. There's darkness all around. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, I think evil. Yeah, I must be the outside keystone. Varandis. So it's true. 
You are alive. Nevertheless, the keystone is mine. I told you I saw him skulking around Markarth. He's not as impressive as you led me to believe. Enough, Billy. Come on, Lane. Take the keystone. My Verandus would give chase. This pathetic creature. I don't know what it will decide to do. Brother, you must listen. There's still time to make things right. Brother? Brother! Damn it, the Lane took the keystone. That metal priest is standing in our way. Nice. Thing when I have the chance. I'm gonna... Yeah. Well, maybe I think it was. What's in? You know. Oh. Yeah, why can't do that? Looks like junk. I don't hear any clanking behind us. They think we're clear. Curse that Lady Belaine. I thought if we could acquire the Keystone, we could finally get the upper hand. I'm tired of. Maybe. But you have to go alone from here, Harrier. There's a fork in the path, and we need to go... I need to get back to the surface. I need to see the sky. Feel the... Keep an eye on Verandas, Harrier. Rada al Saron was toying with him. It's hard to explain. Most witchcraft is. Imagine a boulder. Heavy. Solid. Huge. I... It feels like a wet rag. Dwarf magic is hard to hold. It's so clean. All straight angles, no frayed edges. So natural. I'll send crafters to gather some. We'll fashion it into weapons, arrow tips, coated blades. 
We have a few metal workers in the cons. Use what's on. Oh, metal plating. Full of pleasures. Alright, let's see all this we can do if that's possible. <laughs> Black Rage. Wendis, think this through. No. They slipped the noose once. That's not going to happen again. Oh, that over there. My friend, I thought I could catch Rada and Lady Belaine. Convince him to... Anyway, I'm sorry I failed. Unlike Gwen, this we can't mate, rush you can't, out of I don't think you can change your mate Clear your friend's mind. The day. Mark my on. words. This contest is far from over. With a fresh trail to follow and new allies at our side, victory is closer than ever. And much of that is because of you. I think it's a little bit with a fine list of it. This must be Blackreach. Mm -hmm. I've read the legends, but I never thought it was real. The stories hardly do it justice. Perhaps one day I'll have an opportunity to explore it more fully. Ah, the keystone. What is it, and how is it connected to that dwarven structure? Why are they so... Yes, but we need to proceed with caution. We don't know the purpose of the keystone, and we don't know what they plan to do with it. That said, we are not without our own talents. We can overcome any obstacles and find a way forward. We always do. I'll meet you across the river. Together we'll find a way to enter that ruin. Seeing Rada again, it reopened many old wounds. He wasn't always the villain. Conflicted. I suppose you could say that. We were friends once, partners, in a great and noble undertaking. And then Rada changed. Or maybe it was me. Without a doubt. Rada's plans, whatever they are. We have the ability to mask our condition from mortals, but it takes a powerful vampire indeed to hide from another one of our kind. All vampires carry the stain of Molag Ball. It's the inescapable reality of our condition. I was able to study the Keystone briefly before Rada and Belaine snatched it away. It's a faceted stone bound by a metal band. I don't know hands. I chose some similarities for alien welcome cool stones, but as far as I know, the aliens and dwarves had little to do with each other. That's puzzling. Magic stones often serve as power sources, as well as keys and even weapons. I reached that same conclusion, my friend. Gonna... I'll meet you outside the ruin, my friend. Nobody trying to stay. I wonder if it's going to just keep me. Still my arms. Drinking up from something above me. Case. 
Alright. Just the thing I saw in the distance. Something else. Oh, Jesus. I think this is place to start in the distance. Where Rada and Lady Belaine entered the structure, but I can't find any way to open. Ah, good question. Let's look around. Not all of the ruin remains intact. The constructs are dwarven and expected. The shadows, some sort of beings made of inky darkness, mm, quite unsettling. I wish I could say for certain. I've done precious little reading on dwarven ruins. I do seem to recall the name Ax. I've seen nothing dwarven in their manner or appearance. Dwarves were meticulous scholars, their constructs, their architecture, everything was precise. Reach magic strikes me as wild and unpredictable. Arana clearly shares a strong connection with the ebb and flow of the spirits, though. She might have sensed these creatures, the source of these shadow beings, these... Philosopher's Cradle. I wonder if it's rolled. Makes a philosopher's the stone. Is clearly locked. That strange energy. Wait. Is there something on the floor? Anything worth reporting about the contents of that note? that I dug up. That parchment appears relatively fresh and intact. What does it say? The Library of Arkzand. Hmm. Interesting. I assume a dwarven library houses more than simply books. Anything else of pertinence written there? A dark relic. Hmm, that sounds ominous. And yep. quite likely related to the darkness that Arana sensed. And I now feel as well. That could be the source of these shades. Anything else? Void portals. A dark relic resonating power. And strange shades. We can't let any of this fall into Rada and Lady Belaine's. I'm going to the other side now. Another note and a strange shard. What do you think, my friend? Interesting. 
The shards remind me of something torn from the darkest corner of oblivion. As unsettling as that object is, I think we should hold on to it. Especially if we can use it to navigate the void portals. I suggest you try to use a shard to propel yourself through... Done, my friend. I know the contracts are finding each other. Look up I think. there, between the columns. You see that portal? Yep. Above you. Try to make a connection with that portal. Here for what I know. This is impressive. This place, I had no idea. I knew the dwarves created some magnificent structures, but this is amazing. And look, more of those void. Until we find the source, I can only speculate. We need to locate it, learn more about this. The longer I spend in... Innocence. The point and the sister says, damn it. I sense their presence in every dark corner. Keep going. Our shadows.
path ends here, but there's a door up above. We need to find a way to reach it. Far. Aha. I'm itching for a reason, and it's not just me like going insane. Appears to be some sort of containment apparatus. Better, okay. yeah, there's that a washing machine so. trapped at the center. Not done already. I'm pretty sure it is. Another sheet of parchment. Bring it here. Might that be another observation by the Grey Host Pentarch? What's he? Of course. Despite all the knowledge he gained, he made a mistake. That trapped shade. That's the Grey Host Pentarch. We should attempt to free him, if not out of mercy, then to determine what he knows about the dark energy. Very well. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy. Huh?
did it. Quickly now, question the shade before it dissipates. Is that a cockwork? Um. pain. Souls trapped in Molag Ball's realm wither over centuries, but this dark heart, it stripped that creature of its vitality almost instantly. Yes, but apparently for different purposes. Unstable breaches in the fabric of reality, imploded chambers, trapped shades. Everything points to some terrible dwarven experiment that went astray. As the shade implied, they each seek the dark heart for a different reason. This is the same what with the such power. Walls of this affair. He called her the vessel that never fills. A curious description. Regard, it must have something to do with the sky above. Or perhaps constellations such as those that led us to Bathazel. In any event, perhaps it does possess life of a sort. Certainly it holds a vast amount of power. Power enough that we can't allow. Damn, look kind of bad for that guy. Watch for signs of the Grey Host that should point us toward Rada and Belain. In. The orrery of Arcsand, the key to our salvation. It has stood here unmoving for nearly 3,000 years. You're sure the keystone will power it, Belay? It must be ready when the time comes. The keystone is only part of the puzzle. As you agree, we must also awaken the Dark Heart. I gave you my word, Belay. The Grey Host will make your prophecy come true. Mm. Reach which sign is important can be tiresome. But they are necessary for this. The Dark Heart must beat again. And it will, Belay. Soon, with the Keystone, we can come and go as we please. Now, let us leave this place. We still have much to do before we restart the Orrery. Reach witch prophecies. What fates are you tempting now, Rodda? Yeah. We're back in a second, gotta go do the washing hanging up and stuff.
As we speculated, the Keystone does more than open doors. Rada and Lady Belaine plan to use it to restart the Orrery. The question remains, why? And what role does this... I'm not sure. We know the Grey Host has reached witches among its ranks. Without the Keystone or more of those void portals, we can't... How do I get to that? Oh well. Not the time. Put that silver we acquired to good use, you lazy goat herders. I'll be rock back. Eagle Seer, Sixfold, have you no words to share? Your arrival at this moment is most fortunate. These two clan chiefs brought their children to participate in the rite of hand fasting. Once they receive my blessing, they can announce that it's not so much a matter of need as of instruction. I want your example to teach these clans how to put aside their differences and get along. Present yourself to the betrothed, Eslin and the betrothal announcement, and I say. 
even and out. You picked up on that, did you? I can do that later. What I really want to do find some buried treasure. There's my partner. Over here. A pole ring pouch. Well, I may as well.
So I got lucky then. The first sight was the right one. I wondered if you were going to return, Harrier. The worms and ghosts wouldn't stop whispering to me, talking about dark doings and stirring evil. But they were deadly silent about you. Did you catch up to Lady Belaine? The Dark Heart, you say? There's a tale as old as the Ridge with an evil heart at its center. Like most Ridge stories, it ends bloody. Belaine might have slipped your net, but we know what she's on about. Thanks to you, this hunt isn't over yet. The story of the Dark Heart. The Ghost Song clan knows it well. My clan. Once. I need to speak with my sister, Nathari. She studied the old secrets. Knows about prophecies both ill and fair. If anyone... Traditions passed down from our foremothers. Like the story of the prophecy of the Dark Heart. It deals with souls, shadows, endings. An outsider? Not likely. We need someone to intercede on our behalf. We need Brayden. He's a friend, and he holds the respect of the clan. Brayden can speak to the mood of the Ghost Song clan. Tell him what you told me. I'm sure he'll help us get a meeting with my sister. He's a Proldon Ring is an ancient site southeast of here. Years ago, we argued about what the Spirit Queen's teachings meant for our clan. Nathari believes that we're meant to return to the old ways, the Dark Hall. More like the clan left me. My sister turned them against me. As the days grew darker, the Ghost Song Witches found it easier to see things her way than mine. The Spirit Queen often speaks to the Witches. You know her as Namira, and yes. She has a spirit of death. Your soft priests in their stone houses see her as a fearsome specter. Fools that they are. Rich folk know the spirit queen is a guide. She watches over us when we take... And your friend is a vampire. Where Werewolves are her scenes chosen. Many of the Rich's greatest champions are skin changers.
be a champion, maybe? That was an eight, apparently. Oh, Neil. That's it. Or some sort of gray stone. of the Ghost Song clan. Your sister led the clan to Lost Valley. I was about to join them. Who's the outsider? An ally against the Grey Host. I'll let hey, them tell you themselves. That's, um, what is that? Billy Boyd. An outsider walking alongside the great and powerful Arana. That's not a sight I thought I'd see today. And she says you're an ally. Tell me, outsider. Why do you care what... An outsider come to fight outsiders. I wish you hadn't brought your war here in the first place. Speaking with Nathari is going to be difficult, even if she would agree to such a meeting. So my 3D printer estimated that it was going to take two, over two days to do the print a little bit before. Now it's at 20 hours. Pretty sure that's still that's inaccurate, but it. getting closer to isn't real. Actually lost. We know exactly where it is. It's a sacred place from a darker time. I'm not sure, but I'm not all re Yes. Hungry. It's a little early in my dinner, though. I think I might just go screw it and just eat it now. I don't have to cook dinner today because I um went out for lunch. I'm so just gonna eat the leftovers from last night. Good, which means I don't have to hop off. I can just keep streaming while I eat. Raiden must have gotten here ahead of us. I'd recognize his handiwork anywhere. It seems that the redoubt is overrun with Greyhost troops. 
The Nords built their barrow over the caves that were once used by my ancestors. The Spirit Queen led the first Ghost Song Matron to a spot deep beneath the redoubt. I think that's where Nepal. They, they haven't. My mother had. Nathari is younger than me, but way too sure of herself. When I was the clan's matron, I tried to mentor her, but she follows her own heart. Doesn't matter what I think, it's what Nathari believes she hears, what she sees in every sign in Porter. Nathari won't. A werewolf. Nathari. Okay. I'll be back. I'm getting it out of the freezing on it. It's steak. There's my leftovers too. You can't blame me for being a bit too eager. I forgot to check that the stream is using the right input. It is awesome. I mean, my headphones wouldn't work if it wasn't, probably. Is guarding this place. Are they working together, maybe? <laughs> Did the Grey Host arrive after the clan entered the borough? Are they waiting to slaughter? Doesn't look like the Grey Host attacked my clan. At least not yet. We need to find them. Yeah, I got a feeling you're not gonna like what we find. From a, if I was a vampire, and they attack me. Still. That's a grey host command camp up ahead. Let's see what they're doing here. Do not lower your guard. Ah. Yeah, they're working together. Fragile. Fragile, all right. That was kind of it. See what you can find. Grey horse scratchings. Not what does it say?
Well, do those scratchings on paper tell you anything about what the Grey Host is doing in Lost Valley Redoubt? I never should have let Nathari push me aside. She was always drawn to darkness, even as a girl. Lady Belaine must have found her eager to believe the right lies. Does that letter say what Belaine hopes to gain from my sister's foolishness? The Dark Heart again. According to the prophecy, death awakens the Dark Heart. By the spirits, what evil has Belaine convinced my sister to perform? A stranger visited the clan when I was young. She asked about the old lore. She wore a smile, but I saw darkness in her eyes. Years later, when I saw... I... But my mother spoke in generalities. Lady Belaine spent a lot of time with my aunt, though. She was one who saw every word of the prophecy as literal truth. In <laughs> fact, she taught Nathari her lore. No wonder Lady Belaine sought out my sister. The full telling requires hours. We don't have time for that, so I'll be brief. An ancient darkness slips beneath the ridge. At the end of days it will awaken, covering the land in shadow and devouring all. Only Namira's faithful will be spared. Yes, but ghost song witches have argued about the nature of the heart for generations. Some believe the prophecy is symbolic. There's darkness in every mortal heart. That's my view. Other that the dark heart exists. Death feeds it, and only sacrifice will awaken it to share it. Citus. We're going the right way. The entrance is farther off. Keep going. We're almost to the summit. The borrow entrance is just ahead. Entrance should be here somewhere. Look around. Ah, we found the rock. That's actually the door, but it will only open for a ghost song witch. Well, look at that. I've still got it. Now let's enter the barrel. must have started the ritual. How dare Nathari allow Greyhost soldiers to prowl these holes? What the fuck is going to happen? Oh, I didn't put it down there. It's like, well, why? Ritual sacrifices. Nathari wants the clan to return to the old ways. These dead are ancient. Clearly not my sister's doing. I can't believe she actually did it. Oh, sacrifice to this ghost song hunter.
sorry, no. What have you done? The hour is upon us, dear sister. You must feel it. The darkness. You sacrificed our own people. Oh, poor Sagan. I should have expected Arana to take up with outsiders. She always rejected the old ways. And every one of them gave up their life willingly. They gladly died to awaken the dark heart from its slumber. Arana may deny it, but this is the day... You sound like Braden. True believers see the honor in this sacrifice, but not everyone can overcome the fear that whispers in their ears. Why does this matter to you, outsider? The ghost song hunters, the true hunters, gather below, ready to give their lives for the Spirit Queen. Braden will. The clan chose me, Arana. The Spirit Queen demands death, and I shall give it to her. Damn it. I should never have left. No. I can't allow this. We need to find Braden and the others. This is horrible. Notharia has convinced herself that she's doing the will of the Spirit Queen. And she persuaded at least some of the clan to go along with this man. Aye. That seems to be the long and short of it. The Dark Heart will beat again, and its power will surge up from the deep places to consume everything. It's... The prophecy talks of death and destruction. But it also says that those who embrace it will be spared. There's power... The old matrons mentioned a ritual cave deep within the barrel. It must be this way. Ghost song hunters loyal to Nathari. Surely some must have opposed her. I hope so. Quickly overwhelmed. Right and style. I probably already have that one there, but.
bring ruin upon the entire clan. Senan, not you too, old friend. What's that beside him? What do those scratch marks tell you? People being buried alive. Oh, talking about Not the running. many of my clan learned the scratchings, but Senin could read and write the Imperial language. He spent years in Morakar's Imperial Guard. What did he write down? As we've seen, Natharia has convinced some of the clan to support this mad endeavor. This is Lady Belay. I... That just sounds like a Falmar thing from the other games. Falmar oh, okay. oh, Falmar. Fifteen hours now. It's like a box. slime as well.
Every sacrifice strengthens the darkness. The person that summoned it, it killed. Transform again. Nathari's ideas were folly, but this? With her own hand, she gave her kin to the darkness? She would have killed all of us if you and Arana had... Nathari was a friend once, before she became obsessed with the old ways. If Lady Belain put her on that path, then I've got a score to settle with her. And I'll fight to protect what's left of us, few though we may be. Aye. We'll... This isn't your fault, Amanda. Nathari could only see her own letters, hear her own screams. Nathari's madness was her own.
Ich kann auch weiter schauen, aber da kann ich mal helfen. Mal schauen, wo sind wir da bei sich schon mit der Wahl. Hunters are the equal of ten of yours. Do you care to see our claws and fangs? Save it for the grey horse, skin changer. Let's see what they can do on the training field. The news that Lady Belaine was invoking the prophecy of the Dark Heart. I never expected it to lead to the decimation of my old clan at the hands of my sister. The prophecy says it takes more than a handful of deaths to awaken the Dark Heart. Oh, Nathari got something to stir. But I think Lady Belaine just used her to test the waters. The Dark... There you are. That darkness Arana mentioned? I think we found it. Verandas has been studying that dark energy down in the library of Arkstand, trying to figure out what Radha al Saran and Lady Belaine have planned. He thinks it might actually be related to- Look, I'm no scholar. I barely believe in the stuff and I hardly understand it. But the void is the place outside the places. The darkness beyond Mundus and Oblivion. Anyway, Brandis felt a change in the currents. He sent me to get you. Well, that would explain it. You might have stopped it from fully awakening, but Verandas... It's the dark heart, the heart of Sisis. Even I could feel it. Come on, Verandas needs you to meet him at Night Hollow Keep. That Night Hollow Keep is down in Blackreach, east of the library of Arxan. Verand it must have been impressive once, but it's falling into ruin now. Apparently, it was the seat of power for an ancient vampire clan, the Night Hollow. All that's left of them are a scattering of feral beasts. Not much. I did a lot of digging into the Grey Host, but I never found a scrap about the Night Hollow. We're learning that some of the ancient vampire clans built... There were. Skyrim, too. It seems that long ago, the first clans established an empire beneath the surface. Even Verandas thought it was only a legend. But we're... That strange dark magic that's drifting around the Library of Art. Well, you know those shades? Verandas says they're souls that got caught in the currents. It twisted them into hungry, hateful shadows. I'll meet you down in Blackreach. Travel under the wireless. Yeah. Oh, there's another way shot on the way. Or two. I 
Minecraft. Not everyone can I be. That, that was such a terrible guy. How many letters and notes down here? What the hell was that? Oh, a mushroom. Rotating the road for the right direction. Timing, my friend. The pockets of energy we discovered in the library of Arkzan, they're even stronger here. The void energy permeates that ancient keep. I suspect the Dark Heart hides somewhere inside, and I fear that it's growing stronger. Interesting. The Dark Heart hasn't fully awakened, but I did feel it stir. We need to find the Dark Heart, whatever it is, and prevent Rada and Belaine from using it. I thought it was a dwarven artifact, but then why was I drawn to Night Hollow Keep? Very little, I'm afraid. The whole idea of a kingdom of ancient vampire clans hiding in the depths of Blackreach... Well, I thought it was nothing more than a legend. Let's explore the keep and see what we can learn while we try to find the Dark Heart. Let's you and I split up and search the keep while Gwendis returns to Markarth. We know Lady Belaine has something in mind for the city, and one of us should be close at hand. Inside, look for personal items. I can use them to glean information. One of my talents involves auromancy magic, certain inanimate objects, especially items that hold significant personal value, can become imbued with the auras of those who possess them. Sometimes I can... Important event. Auromancy... I don't see how. Rada. A good question. 
We know that. Okay. Now, Gwendis, you know I never ask anything without good reason. Markarth is in danger. Fine. But when the real action starts, I won't sit on the side and let you deal with all the danger. They're really all fucked up. Basically, just feral beasts. Oh, I'm not gonna drop the oil. Is gone. Hold on. Spotted and kill me, which is good. It's a red back or a black widow. Not sure if there's a different species for red backs and black widows are the same, or if red back is a distinct species in Australia.
Damn, nothing. I'm in a low book. Find a personal object within this ancient study. Did you find something? Uh -huh. Did you find? Let me see. Hmm. I pitied the stone is no, but it appears to be a pin or an emblem of some kind. The owner would have a gift for me, my love. I have chosen. Tonight, mm. you and Rain will drink from the dark hearts. I have longed for this moment, my lady. Soon. Mm. You will be a lord of the Night Hollow clan. One Hell bloody old is she. So Lady Belaine did. I sense that Lady Belaine was ancient, but the vision confirms she was not only part of the Night Hollow clan, she was their leader. The Dark Heart gets more interesting at every Yes, but we need more information. I can deduce that the Dark Heart is some sort of power source. That much is obvious. And it's tied to the void energy we encountered. Plus, the currents got stronger when Arana's sister sacrificed her clanmates. Yes, I noticed that too. Whether due to the long centuries of isolation or something more sinister, they are shadows of their former selves. Take the insignia with you and keep exploring. Now that it's charged, more memories may reveal themselves. Ace is a bunch of rocks for the current print. It's almost done with the rocks, I think. I cast oh, all the upon the insignia. The lingering magic may reveal additional scenes from the past as you explore these halls. I hope I don't have to fight that gargoyle I came across. You can't. Oh, 
Lady Balloon. Raven Batch hit crazy. But all I was going to think about was the next drink. Whatever the place is, I'm guessing. You're wrong about that. Maybe we should have a dark heart and then go. I imagine that it won't let them die. Ah, it's promising. Oh, that works. A noble's chamber, I think. Take a look around. This room is better preserved. Thing I don't think it was reserved, I think it was actively being used. Have you found something I can my explorations have turned up very exactly what I was hoping for. I suspect the Night Hollow nobles wore these as a badge of rank. Let's see what we can learn with a little more oromancy. Way to the dark heart is open. He's dead. But the heart falters. Something is wrong. Damn dwarves. They depleted its energy. Seal the dark halls. Until the heart recovers, only those who bear the sign of the inner circle may partake of its gifts. We the sigil that we found. I think I understand what happened to the Night Hollow clan. I suspect Lady Belaine is the survivor of a long decline, while the rest of her clan... That memory comes from a later time. The Lord spoke of opening a way to the Dark Heart, which implies the Night Hollow lost access to it at some point. But what are these Dark Halls Lady Belaine spoke? Perhaps. And maybe we have the key. Lady Belaine said that only those who bear the sign of the inner... More than likely, the Dark Halls lie below us somewhere. See if you can find a way down while I attempt to trace the currents of Void End. The best answer may be none of them. I suspect the Dark Heart may have been here before all of them. More than likely, they found it, made use of it. Across the ages, different people may have been drawn to its power. We may never know for sure. Perhaps. It's curious, isn't it? I wonder if the Dark Heart... Very mad, but lack of access to a lot of children and bad news.
Ich hab's jetzt tot, wenn ich mal weiß. Black diamonds, is that the black, the dark hardest? Dark holes. As you can see, powerful magic wards the door. Perhaps I can draw a memory from it. A dormant dark heart is of little use to us, Milaid. It can be awakened, but I need to get the help of the Reach Witches. Patience, Milaid. Not until I restore the Grey Host. Not until we unlock the Orrery. More delays. Very well. But the dark heart must beat again, Rada al Saran. Nothing else matters. It seems Rodda came here a long time ago. This is the most recent memory, but it's still... S Did you see? Rodda and Belaine made some sort of deal centuries ago, and now the conditions of that deal have almost been fulfilled. I've been thinking about what you told me. I believe the ghost song ritual primed the Dark Heart, opening a path between this world and the Void. The Void Energy, something as powerful as the Dark Heart that's been asleep for millennia, may stir from the taste of a few souls, but I suspect it needs a banquet to awaken fully. Perhaps, if we hurry, because Rodder had not yet raised a new army, and he had other preparations. The Night Hollow left the Dark Heart where they found it, instead of bringing it to their keep. Strange. Ah. Put the shrimp bagel back, son. Sorry, mate. Someone left these belongings here. They may have a story to tell. A well-made weapon, placed with care. Let me try my aura, Mancy. Blake, we're dying. There's 
nothing you can do. I refuse to accept that, Idrisen. But one of us must remain strong to save the others. I will take the remaining energy from the Dark Heart. It will sustain me until I determine how to make it beat again. No, Belain. You know blood no longer sustains us. If you take the last of the Heart's energy, the rest of us will starve. Horrible. The Dark Heart gave the Night Hollow unbelievable uh. power, but they were dependent on it. They lost. It appears that Lady Belaine took the last of the Void Energy for herself, enough to saturate her and keep her strong through all these long centuries. While the clan, apparently not, feeding on Void Energy changed them. They lost the ability to take nourishment from the blood of mortals. I suspect Lady Belaine believes that her clan will recover once the Dark Heart begins to beat. Yeah, it looks like. The dark heart. It looks like a black hole. Oh, no mind. I mean, it is a black hole. Sound like it has a heartbeat. The dark heart awakens. I can't stop it. Feed, you heart of darkness. Feed on the souls of my heart, and soon my breath will be free. Those souls, the people of Markarth. What have you done? The Dark Heart, the piece of the primal void trapped in our world. Mm -hmm. No wonder it warps the very weave of existence all around it. Look up. We're directly beneath the library of Arkzan. The Dark Heart, it powers the orrery. But to what end? The Dark Heart feeds on death. You saw that when the Ghost Song clan was sacrificed. Only he's offering the Heart a much larger feast. All the Reach folk in Markarth. He sent Lady Belaine there to finish. Correct. 
as part of Lady Belaine's peace with the Grey Host. Just another horrible deception. Let's get out of... That lift over there should take us to the library grounds. Hurry. It looks like a giant black hole. understand the what of our enemy's plan, if not the why of it. Rodder had centuries to set this in motion, yet I don't see how the orrery can free the Grey Host. No, not yet. Our enemy has gained a mo Our enemy advances on two fronts, my friend, and we must match them move for move. Rodder al Saran has activated. The attack on Markarf has begun, but we can still save the city if we hurry. Go. Warn I will deal with Rodder. After you warn Kadok, find Lady Belaine, defeat her, and the Reach Folk will stand a better chance against the assaulting army. I'll find a way to deal with Rodder. Lady Belaine and the Grey Host, and... away from the waste room.
I can't have... Aria, over here! The Grey Host assault has begun! Over here, the Grey Host assault has begun. The Grey Host came out of nowhere, hit the city like a giant's hammer, vampires and werewolves, rending and killing anyone they could catch. The Ard's folk, just like what Nathari did to my clan, the bastards. Arana brought us here to help, but it may be too late. They aren't only marching to... Lady Belaine unsealed the doors to Nichuan Zell and let the Grey Host into the city. We arrived just in time to fend off the first wave. Can't make any. Stay sharp and keep alert on your... The vampire noble, your friend Verandis. He convinced Arana that we had to help defend Markarth. There you are. After all your talk, I was beginning to think you'd abandoned us. The Grey Host raided my city. Killed more of my people than I like, but we held them off. Barely. Now those bastards are gathering in Ichuan the Zell for their next attack. They certainly did a good job with their first attack. Lady Belaine actually tried to kill me herself. Might have succeeded. Damn it, outsider! But your words ring true. All right. Watch your step in Nichuan Zell. From what we could tell, the Grey Host was gathering there for days before the attack. Even without the vampires and werewolves, there are old traps and metal monsters to contend with. Dwarves never did like company.
A strong witch. In all her anger is a force of nature. Arana blinks like I'm getting gelato for dinner. I mean, clan. and rightly so. Gelato for dessert again. Got into poor Nathari's head. The old ways. Even I'm not fool enough to want them back. Well, she gave me good counsel, for a time, even regarding the Grey Host. Sheltering in Markar saved a lot of Reach folk lives. Uh, until today, at least. Arana warned me, though. She didn't trust Belaine from the start. Ha! <laughs> My gran would scare us with tales of the Night Lords who once ruled the Reach from the land below. Always thought she was just trying to frighten the children. Like most of the Vadishran legends, I, I suppose there was a kernel of truth in her stories. Hang on, hero. I did a bit of scouting, and you need to hear what I have to say. That Chenzel is crawling with Grey Host soldiers, not to mention all the dwarven constructs that clank around down there, too. I didn't see her, but I wasn't able to advance very far into the Undercity. Since you're obviously on your way to help her, and I've delivered all the messages I had, I'm going back to the Library of Arksand. I hate that veranda. Veran Someone's already been through here. Broken. Down the farm, down the bed. I think the problem with printing overnight is, I mean, originally I was worried about short circuiting causing a fire, but my fairly said I don't know if it's going to be an answer to that issue. The bigger problem is um, the, I mean, that's still a issue I'm worried about, but the bigger problem is if the um, film gets tangled and it doesn't print properly.
I sensed a friendly presence. Thank the spirit. I want to finish this, but the lane, she's too strong. And the gray host. I tried to return to Markarth, but got turned around. I chased Lady Belaine into the depths, battled her to a standstill, and then she summoned the Grey Host. She fled while I fought them off. To the Orrery, I think I heard her tell the Grey Host commander. Listen, I sensed something else down below. A second keystone. Find it, and you'll be able to enter the Orrery chamber. Forget me. Get the second keystone. Don't let Belaine draw any more power from the Dark Heart. Don't linger, Harrier. All this death, it fuels the Dark Heart, making it stronger with every passing moment. Find that keystone and stop Lady Belaine. I already feel my strength returning. It's the Dark Heart. Like the ghost song witches of old, I feel its power stirring within me. No, not in and of itself. Like all of Namira's gifts, how we use it is where good and evil come in. It's... Down the stairs, then look for the vaults. That's where I fought Lady Belaine.
Well, I feel kind of bad now. Bloody dangerous plants. Malicious plants, that's the word I was looking for. That's the chance I'm about to wake up with that. It's a trap! Fight them all! I think it's my um, my like matriarch has not been out this whole time. Sometimes those guys can move around, but they can't. Then they're in those things. I'm glad that he didn't attack me. Probably should have taken it out, but fuck it. Lord Thief Lady Lord Steve.
I don't know these symbols. Lord Kaisers is safe. Okay.
This and take me to that other lift that I saw. No, different place. As you are, Gwendis. We don't have a keystone, and I haven't been able to discern another way to get inside. Try as I might, I haven't been able to penetrate the... Another keystone? It seems the spirits of the Reach smile favorably upon us after all. No one has entered or departed by these doors in all the time I've been here. It's clear that Rodda and Belaine know more about this... Oh, by all means. To a rudder. I must.
Genau. Yeah, nice. How come I'm supposed to go? I know, how the hell do I get in there? Can't get an angle. Is so that the one done?
I have to stop paying attention. The fellow. The dark heart is mine to command. This is the place where your Oh no, I'm gonna redo them all. Let me hear, Harrier. I'll help you defeat the abomination. Stop passing out, Wedos. I'll create void portals. Use them to reach those void mothers and destroy them. Damn it!
and don't kill it before I take it downstairs. Yep, completely restart it. Fuck me. I mean, not only am I distracted, but I think this is actually a pretty hard boss fight. let me hear, Harrier. I'll help you defeat this abomination. Look how Belaine corrupts Namira's gift. I'll create void portals. Use them to reach those void mothers and destroy them. We can't defeat her. The fate of the rich depends on it.
send a fucking vibrator through my um, armor. I'm just gonna let her help. This is a long bus wipe. Coming real close. Oh, 
I'll be right back after I go get a modulata. Not quite there yet. Oi. That is. Alright. Didn't load properly.
Lady Belaine, is she dead? The Spirit Queen, Namira. She required a champion. She gave me the strength to press on, despite my wounds. No, that strength is gone. She is the spirit of death and decay. Belaine defied natural death, as all vampires do. Using Namira's energy like that. It was an affront. I am happy to have done my part. Verandas needs your help. Go, Harrier. Who's this one last place? Help Verandas. I see it now. The Lord of the Grey Host threatens all Nern. Your timing is perfect. Get to the far platform and throw the switch. It will take all of us to stop this infernal machine. If you hadn't arrived when you did, Gwendis and I would not have been able to power down the orrery. <clears throat> Thank you. But tell me, what of Arana and Lady Belaine? I could feel them. It was like a battle in the darkness. So it was Belaine's death I felt in the darkness. Arda was right. For some reason, the connection I have to the Dark Heart is strong. But there was something else. Another sensation. Where's Arana, my friend? Arana, dead. That's another soul lost to the void. Between her and those that perished at Markarth, the Dark Heart ate well this day. I'd like you to return to Understone Keep. Tell Ard Kadok that despite what we have lost, Markarth. You sure you'll be all right here by yourself, Arandis? I shall return to Markarth shortly. What am I saying? Of course you will. But if you're not back soon, I'll come and drag you to Markarth myself. Ah, here's one whose report we need. What news, Lady Belay? We did as you said, Rover. We defended the city and kept our people safe. Then, all of a sudden, the Grey Host turned and fled. And I barely got to kill a dozen or so of the bastards myself. 
Well, <laughs> that explains everything. Someone will sort out the details and tell them to me later, eh? All that matters is the Greyhose called off their attack and departed as soon as they lost their leaders. But where's Arana? I want to think. Arana promised to stop Lady Belay. No matter what. Trust a Reach Witch to make her own words come true. At least it was a good death. Given in a noble cause. And Markarts, they scattered and fled. <laughs> good riddance. Between Arana's wilders and my stone hands, we held them back. And when you cut off the head, they were done with this fight. Uh, they're... We stopped Lady Belain from gorging the Dark Heart with all the souls of Markarth, but we can't bring back the dead. Still, the Heart awakened but never reached full power. We turned back the Grey Host and killed Belain. The Orrery remains charged with void energy, but the Dark Heart was never completely filled and it already wanes. That means we denied Radha al-Siran a limitless source of power. Rada may have escaped for the moment, but we will find him. Any surviving Night Hollow clan members are bound to the Dark Heart. As it wanes, so will they. When you destroyed Lady Belaine, you sealed the doom of her and... Yes. Whether through the use of the Orrery or some other means, Rada tied the Void Energy to the Grey Host. And due to my past affiliation, that seems to include me. Soon. For now, savor this victory. The courage of mortals, not some buried rebel. We defeated evil today. The time has come, my friend. An ancient darkness us... at the very heart of the Reach that threatened to destroy us all. These outsiders stood beside us and made our troubles, our enemies, their own. Let them hear our thanks. Look around, you people of the Reach! Markarth still stands! See your fellow Reach folk, and know we will always fight for our land and our ways! I know you've only had a moment's peace, but we must renew our hunt for Radha al Siran with all due haste. The setbacks will not. That I have yet to determine, but consider what he's wrought thus far. Harrow storms across western Skyrim to revive the Grey Host. A good question. Despite your success stopping High King Svargrim and Lady Belain, the reawakening of the Dark Heart has provided the Dwarven Orrery with a frightening source of power. But to what end? I need... a moment. Sometimes the intensity of the currents flowing through the darkness can be... overwhelming. There. An Orion report. It's nothing. I... <clears throat> I don't want to concern the others. Whatever Radha did at the Orrery, it connected the Grey Host to the Dark Heart. And that includes me. I don't know. I can feel the Dark Heart's pulse. A throbbing that grows stronger as the heart becomes more powerful. But... Investigate the Grey Host activity in the foothills north of Markarth, near Bathardams. Fenorian will meet you there. It's clear the Orrery plays an integral part in Rada's plans, but the specifics elude me. The Dark Heart, the Orrery, the Harrow Storms, they are all connected. Smaller pieces of a much grander scheme. Belaine was plotting something. I only wish I could split her skull myself. Arana and her rebels saved us the trouble.
We should have attacked when we had the chance. My orders were to wait, Lyris. At least Rada left something in his haste. Wait, is that you, partner? Could have yep. used you a moment sooner. I was this close to finally planting my axe in Rada al Saran's face. If Fen hadn't insisted we wait for his Raven Watch friends, that monster wouldn't have slipped through our fingers again. You're still on. When Fen got his orders to investigate the Grey Host, I invited myself along. Sorry about my temper. It's just that we've been shadowing these bastards for a while, and it looked like the opportunity to strike was... Well, Fen's the one keeping notes, but Rada al-Saran gathered his subordinates and remaining forces here. It's clear he's preparing to make a move, so Fen sent word to the Raven Watch. I just wish we knew more about this dark storm Rada mentioned. Yeah, a lead that's dragging us in circles. Look, Fen can tell you more. Possibly. And I've seen Ice Reach Coven witches among the Grey Host troops. It was slow going, but the concoction he and Old Mjolin produced was the only reason the Holds were able to start fighting back. Even after we stopped Rada Al Saran's plan in solitude, I don't think the Western Holds would have survived without it. Alive and well. She's taken to her role as Jarl of Solitude far better than anyone imagined. The people love her. There's new life in the hold, despite all that's happened. I admit, you're asking me? No. What? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. You're I was fixated on this trinket. When Verandes said he would send someone, I assumed he meant to do so. We weren't supposed to make a move, but Lyris feared we'd miss our chance. I don't think we ever had one, but don't tell her that. Other than I think it belonged to Rada al Saran, I sense a powerful magic has been cast on the item. Oromancy. I recognize it. But, well, after their defeats in Western Skyrim and the Reach, the Grey Host has regrouped. The ancient Exarchs have arrived and asserted their control over the newer troops. We also intercepted a courier a few days ago. He carried a coded message. My command of ancient Yokudin is elementary at best. I assumed it had something to do with Harrow Storms, until Rada al Saran mentioned this dark storm. I think he's planning something massive. More massive even than the storm over Solitude. We're going to meet Verandas. Right now? I am. Um, yes, that would be prudent, I suppose. Do I look presentable to you, befitting of an audience with the Count? I don't imagine... This trinket Rada al Saran left behind. It radiates a magical residue similar to what Verandas leaves behind when he casts Oromancy. Perhaps you've seen him use it to draw memories from the past. I want... Amazingly so. I assisted Svana, Jarl Svana, for a while. Helping old Mjolin and the Mages Guild produce as much of the Harrowstorm elixir as we could. But I couldn't linger there forever. I've been tracking the Grey Host ever since. No. Though I'm hope. Shouldn't I be? I was studying abroad when you two were dealing with the Lightless Remnant. Count Verandis is a father to me. <laughs> More so than my own birthkin. Is that Count Verantis? 
A soul's ability to travel among infinite planes of existence is equally boundless. Ben, what did you do? Souls can go anywhere. Imagine if they had the freedom to choose their destination or even return to life. It's the Auromancy. We're seeing an image of the past. I am recording. Damn it, I just went backwards. Hiding something. It's just missing. The dark heart. The episodes grow more frequent. Each time, I see that Rodder has employed his mother tongue to obscure the message. I remember his language and the Grey Host ciphers well. No, he. He's trying to persuade me. Convince me that his path is the right one. Prove to me, not in and of itself. He wants me to follow in his footsteps. To see what he did and learn the truth of what he promises. In doing so, however, I will discover how to stop it. He's bearing his throat to me, confident I will not bite, but I must. I must seek a place in the reach where the land was sundered from Tamriel. And I must study the void through night hollow eyes. Finally, I must learn about keystones in the Darzell. In my current state, I... I don't trust myself. Will you go in my stead? I'll leave the course of the journey up to you, but these three will go ahead to assist you. I'm... S that's a distinct possibility, but I don't believe Rodda. Rodda is a prideful man. When I deserted the Grey Host, it wounded him deeply. He wants... If this is a trap, you're the one walking into it. But if he does return to the orrery while you're gone, I will buy whatever time I can. Until then, there are things I also need to accomplish. I'll study the heart and the... Uh, yes, of course. That one is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. But I can only... Yes, we know rather need... I'll answer them as best I can. And sounded from, um... Tamriel sounds like like a chunk. That sounds like almost like the place in Cold Harbor. Or, um, 
chunk of the planet. Took the horse off me, apparently. Over here. Night Hollow Keep is just ahead. Night Hollow Keep is down this path. The archive should be right inside. In writings we recovered from Lady Belaine, she mentioned a Night Hollow Testament. That's probably what we're looking for. Just watch yourself. The place is locked down tight. Well, it's crawling with Night Hollow vampires. Not just the mindless spooky kind. Looks like some of them got recharged when the Dark Heart woke up. They patrol the outer wall in shifts. One door in and out. It's locked, but they carry keys. You got it. I haven't been able to keep track of their comings and goings, so there's no telling which vampires have the keys. Attacking them could attract unwanted attention. If you want to find a more discreet way past that wall, by all means. Remember, get keys off the patrolling vampires or find another way to get in. Rada, I'll... No, but... I'm off. If I see something that might help, I'll let you know. that nether root's growing. Think it will hold our weight? I guess the answer is yes.
That's a grey host Pentarch. Probably after the same thing as us. What's that beside him? That wasn't as difficult as I expected. Now let's enter the archive. As far as libraries go, the lighting in here is terrible. Hey, I bet that's what we came for. There's nothing where we things. That's done. Hey, why is this trinket over here glowing? Oh, God, I can't get the smell of her blood off my hands. It was a mercy. You know that. I ruined her, Rodder, body and soul. I played God and they sold her paid the price. I'm a damn fool. I must have been the someone that was driven mad. There is no such thing as damnation. Only souls who have lost hope. That's not fair, Rodder. You said it with such conviction I could not argue. You have not forgotten our promise, I hope. We'll seek salvation together. Thank you, Rodder. Verandas keeps everyone at arm's length. Is this why? Over here, partner. I've got bad news and worse news. Kadok and I already exchanged words. Most of them insults. The only agreement we came to was that he'd stop sending his stone hands to toss me out if I stopped breaking their noses. It wasn't a fight until he sent his stone hands against me. Wasn't much of one after that, come to think of it. We got as far as Sundered Land when he shouted something about Mana Marco and called up his personal guard. That's what I was trying to find out when Kadok got all angry and said something about my head and a pipe. Markarth would be a ghost town if it wasn't for you. If that doesn't... The Ard is in it. Manamarco, Emperor Varen, Nord's Reachman, his... Fill of Reekers grace in my presence today. See it. 
was how you'd shed blood for me. And mine. I'll give you my ear, but make it quick. Bye, you speak with that half-giant's tongue. What business is it of yours? What I do with my land? I gave that parcel to Manamarco years ago. It was his to offer to Molagbal, as he pleased. Why dredge up such dealings now? Aye, you and the half-giant both, so the crows say. Don't think I've not spied on you, Saints Lady Belaine. I gave that land to Manamarco long before the god of schemes brought his wrath to your empire. The Le Manamarco didn't call me confidant. When he departed, he said the failure here would forge his success elsewhere. I never saw him again. If you want to know his mind, you'll have to see what he wrought yourself. There's a lift in Nichuan cell. It'll take you to the Sundered Land. I'll keep it sealed, for reasons that should be obvious. But I'll see your granted passage. Not so long ago, Reach Folk ruled the Empire. We had our lands return, and dignity restored. Then, we were driven back into the mud by the Usurper. Man among... No. The Usurper, Varen lost his lands, his throne, and so much more. Got the information we need? Good. Did you get a location? It's somewhere inside. Nothing I want to waste your time. Oh good, this keeps getting better and better. I thought I was fit. This is a cold hardback, you know. This is our chance. Pity. I wanted Verandas to see this place for himself. Hey, there's another memento here. Like the one Fenorian found near the Thar Dams. 
This is feasible. No, not a merely a possibility, but the soul binding requirement. We can save our kindred from Cold Harbor's torment, and you quibble over the cost? Is your heart so cold? Even if you returned our kindred to life, Molag Balls claimed their souls would remain. Our contracts are inviolable. Another obstacle to overcome. You think the Prince of Domination is merely an obstacle? Rodder, listen to yourself. Kneeling when I should have stood right, proud was the greatest mistake I ever made. I will not repeat it. Jesus, talk about Aragon. Son seemed pretty friendly back in the day. Did you know about that? I don't know what a chunk of oblivion or that moment. Then why is Rada al Saran sending cryptic messages to Verandas? Even if he can't win the Count back to his side, these mind games may cloud your friend's judgment. I suggest we keep an eye on the Count, just in case. I think we've gotten all we're going to from this. Not the way I wanted to go. The guy has to still down there, though.
Was wir fern gegangen, hä? Interesting discoveries while I was waiting. The Tharzel is more intact than the few other dwarven ruins I visited. I spotted a chamber that appears related to the keystones. But more intact doesn't... Therein lies the problem. My vampiric abilities make traversal somewhat trivial, but you can't follow. I noted numerous void portals scattered around the Tharzel. I understand you and Verandas encountered them before. I'm no expert on teleports. May I suggest trying to reach the void portal at the top of that tower first? As Verandas explained it. all these new materials from all the research I've been doing. I had every 
confidence you wouldn't get sucked into some boundless void. The repository is just through this door. Let's see what oh. we can find. You know, it sounds like confident. Have I ever been worried? Hmm. This looks like some kind of manufacturing equipment. It's going more like a cupboard. Saran's Oromancy, I suspect. What are those my notes? Hmm? Brandis, forgive me. As ever, your genius captivates me. I had no idea you'd make such progress. I'm still no closer to a viable solution. You're closer than you think. How can you know that? I discussed your findings with a new ally. They claim it will work. Only your trepidation holds us back. I... I thought you'd changed. That you sought penance. I won't participate in mass murder. Our dream is within reach, and you're still concerned for the mortals. Verandis! Verandis was aware of this plan, and he was its architect. I thought Singalis, one of Radha al Saran's ex. Yes. And it's a darker story than we were led to believe. Not only was Verandis a member of the Grey Host and a close comp. When we confront Radha al Saran, it must be the last time. When the moment comes to end this, there can be no doubt. It's good. Damito.
Ozma's intentions were to sway me back to his side. That's not good enough, Kelly. Why didn't you tell us that this was all your fault? It wasn't just your research that let him revive the Grey Host. The actual procedure was your creation. You don't understand. Please tell me you found out more about the Dark Storm. Others see conspiracies where there are none. Just past sins that I thought long buried. They say you found everything that Rado wanted me to discover. Tell me, remember the journey Rado sent me on? The one you took in my place. It was to follow in his footsteps. To see how he reached this moment in time. This stone, it, it's a shard of oblivion lost in our world. To see the void through Night Hollow eyes. Yes, it's written in the tongue of the first vampires. I can read it, barely. In addition to other things, this is basically a spell book. It's full of rituals to appease and make use of the Dark Heart. It was the point to show me the inner workings of the mysterious dwarven keystones? We know Rada used one to link the Dark Heart's power to not only the Orrery, but to the Grey Host as well. I can feel the pull of the heart. What you discover doesn't tell us much about the Darkstorm, at least not yet, but the picture is beginning to form in my mind. Rodder's letter. It's true that Rodder often relied on myself and later Zingalis to handle his research. Who would remain behind that could stand against Rodder? At the Dark. Using my Auromats. Come, Raven Watch, Titan War. We can't let a spectre. Remain by your side as we serve. Upstairs. I think we're getting closer. A moment. I sense. Rodder has been this way.
Careful. That Night Hollow vampire radiates with the power of the Dark Heart. I'm not going to be able to do this. No. Roder's laboratory. I see he's adopted Zingalis' methods. Yes, this is it. I can feel the echoes of Roder's work here. Rodder has taken my research in direction. Rodder has taken my research in directions I never imagined. Dwemer machines, night hollow. Yes, I'm beginning to see how the pieces you retrieved fit together. He's building a bridge through the void. The Oblivion Shard serves as a lodestone to point to his destination, but Cold Harbor is precisely the place he would want to avoid. Rodder has always sought to escape Molag Ball's hold on his soul. Cold Harbor is the place where Ball's power is absolute. It makes no sense, unless Cold Harbor isn't his destination. Fenorian will reproduce the Reach alchemy while Gwendis performs the Night Hollow rites. You must manage the Dwemer machines controlling the tonal, etheric, and kinetic energies. I will attempt to scry the stone and direct you. These Dwemer devices, they are similar to pieces of the Orrery itself. They manipulate various cosmic forces, tonal, etheric, and kinetic, to chart... The components you retrieved from Bathar Zell showed me that the keystones consist of these same sorts of devices, just on a smaller scale. As I conduct the ritual, Alan... Rodder pointed us to the means and method of recreating his work. There's something he wants for me to see here, and I believe the only way... To we are attempting to harness forces never intended to be combined to peer into the infinite, churning chaos we call the Void. Now to begin, start by adding etheric power. Quickly, help for no 
I need more. An influx of etheric power. I just need your help with the Night Hollow Rite. Just the total frequency, quickly. Discord, change the output. Luminorians, we'll need the alchemical reaction soon. Recalibrate the etheric power, it's too little. Genetic mechanism is off balance, get it right. The clerk, now blend this with the night on the right once more. Rodder found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. It is both and neither outside the grasp of Ball, or any prince for that matter. Don't you see? In their own realm, free from Molag Ball's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. And with the connection to Mundus and the power of the Dark Heart, Rodder's drawing on its power. To the orrery. Hurry! Stand it all clearly now. Rodda has opened the gateway to his sanctuary. In that distant realm, he can summon. No, not good at all. The Dark Storm requires power on an unprecedented scale. Dark? It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Ball's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his sanctuary realm. Death will become as much a petty inconvenience to them as to any Daedra. To end the Dark Storm, once it's begun, I need to enter Rada's Sanctuary Realm and take control of the ritual. I can't. Rada showed us the door, and we forged the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the Dark Storm, for as you have seen from... Rada has started the ritual. 
Rudder a lie? I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. In my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths, I abandoned it. I should have also. When you're ready, activate the mechanism. Rudder has already aligned. Fire up that rotten contraption. Well, the dark storm isn't... Surround's desire, I mean. The unpleasantries of living with this. I'd be lying if I said no. But the price of salvation is too high. Radha al Saran will doom thousands of souls to fates worse than death. You and my father. I'll do all I can to keep the orrery. I'm fairly certain the dwarves built this as an observatory to chart the void. What we're doing is more akin to plunging a telescope into a fathomless depth, so we can slip through the tube without getting wet. This is it, then. Everything that happened in Windhelm, Solitude, and Markarth. More than ready. I'm trying to scare me off? Can't say I'm looking forward to another romp. Every place... You're really just going to hurl yourself? I was really hoping Varadus had something tricky up his sleeve. I guess there's nothing. You better. The only reason I'm agreeing to stay behind is because you're going with him. I can count on one finger the number of people I trust with this. Me. So get this done. Well, this is it. Now you can... We are about to travel into the unknown. Take a moment. I... No. Nothing else needs to be said. I have worked all my life to atone for the hubris of my first years as a vampire. Rodder went to great lengths to remind me of my damnation. And I still can't control the darkness racing through my blood. <laughs> Those words keep returning to haunt me. They never fail to make me feel foolish. Both for having said them and for doubting them. Things may look hopeless from here. There may be a better vantage on the other side. Only one way to find out. The portal into the dark is ready as I can. Exactly? I expect you back before Venoria gets bored. Don't make me come in there after you. We shall endeavor to return shortly. I don't know how I blew in on the white end. There you are. Damn shades are everywhere. Where's Verandas? Come on, up that rise. We'll find it. The 
sky. That must be the dark storm. Dark Let's follow the storm. Hopefully, Barandas will do the same. Unbound this set.
We need to keep moving and find Barandas. Oh, it's pretty hard to We kill Rada. I'm passing over and got more eyes in the wall. Not even Mola Ball can threaten us here. The Grey Host will be an unstoppable force. Nothing will be beyond our reach. Rada, your dream was never mine. It ends here. Verandis, we are nearly free. Verandis! Join our forsaken kin in Molot Ball's team, you traitor! Watch me, as I destroy everything you cherish. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this, you bastard! Watch out, partner! I'm going to save you. This is the sword that split Lecky's blade, reforged in bitter blood. You will taste it soon. Stay away from that magic! What do you think first? An arm? An eye? This is the best you can muster, Verandis. Keep your distance.
Oh, come on, summon them, man. Summon them! I must take control. It will kill you! If I don't stop the Darkstorm, then my death will be the least of our worries. God! Power! It's everything Rodder said it would be! I... I see. I can't... You and Lyris must go. While I still possess the power of the Dark Heart, I can... I can only control the Darkstorm from here. I understand now what must be done to stop it. I can use the power of the Dark Heart, not any that can make everything right. I brought about this tragedy through my naivete. Feels like I got stepped on by a mammoth, but I guess that means I... Damn. I take back every bad thought I had about the Count. He's got conviction to match Sai Sahan's. Farewell. When is this going to be pissed? Have faith. Rodder's last gift was hope. Storm. Arana? Oh shit. I I can breathe. I'm alive. What the fuck? I'm no illusion. I can't say myself. I remember being here in this room. I remember the wound. Then nothing but a cold ice. I couldn't see. Everything was just warmth and light. As I live and breathe, it was Verandas who led me here. I don't understand much of what... There were a great many others drowning in that icy current. 
I'm certain I wasn't the only one pulled ashore. It's Markarth. That's where the spirits. You did what you thought was best, and the price I paid has been returned. None of us. Did I hear you right? Verandas brought that woman back to life? Was that what the Count meant by making it right? He didn't just stop the Darkstorm. He used it to free the souls from the Darkheart. Isn't that where Rada al Saran harvested souls for the Darkheart? If Barandas released them all, maybe Arani. You go on ahead. Ben and Gwendis could use a moment. I'll make sure they make it to Markarth. Just bringing one. Just go. I hope you're right. If Father managed to. <laughs> Gwendis is not happy with me. I can't blame her there. I was hoping to catch up. You hear that? Mark Hart is celebrating. That magnificent bastard really did it. The Count enjoyed his mysteries, but yeah, I think so. When we started this, I thought the best we could do. We rest. With Rada al Saran dead, the Grey Host is finally buried for good. We couldn't have done it without you, partner. So eat, drink, find... It may seem odd coming from a Nord, but I'm glad... News of Rada al Saran's death won't come... Why spoil the mood? I think... Just fine. I ain't definitely aren't using that bloody pet. <laughs> look! Look! Can you believe it? There's life to the keep again! Ha! That's your doing, isn't it? The Ard seems to think so. He'll want to see you. He's holding an audience in his war room right now. What's this about a war room? Ah, you're here too, she Tight for You come with me. I have a message for you and your We are agreed. Fine. If, if Eastern and Western sure. Skyrim can put aside their differences in the face of the Grey Host, then the Reach can do so as well. Come forward, free hand. No need to bow for the sake of kings. Looking for another adventure, my friend? You need to learn to relax for a while. Eat, <laughs> drink, find a companion. Life, this business with a grey host is far from over. As long as Skyrim is threatened, I will be close. The reach is far from everyone's holdings. This grey host business started. I do. She's an impressive young woman. <laughs> Western Skyrim, ready for Swana? That's the more pertinent question. 
I have no desire to replace a despot. Haven't these people suffered enough? In any event, my forces are stretched too thin to take on much more. If the people request help, however, I will put whatever resources I can. Shores bones. Why does everyone insist on seeing ulterior motives behind every kind act? Can't a king just be a nice person? Look, someone has to... Thank the gods we have better matters to attend to than the deployment of troops and suspicions of treachery. For a man called Despot, the Ard is in an agreeable mood. Truthfully, Spana, when we learned that Markarth suffered an attack like the one you narrowly prevented in so No doubt. They have proved very skilled at keeping to the shadows and biding their time. The Greyhost, an accord at least. It just... Trust takes time to build. And we must start somewhere. I couldn't have done it without Svana. Uh, uh, Jarl Svana. Watching her put aside past differences between Eastern and... Well, yes, I do. She's a striking woman. A, a figure. Leader. Yeah. <laughs> she's won many hearts and minds in the short time she's been a Jarl. He doesn't want another war on his hands. You seem more comfortable standing among kings and Jarls than I do. Then again, you always did. Western Skyrim has begun to recover. With Fen's elixir, our soldiers have been able to push back the Grey Host. I know the... I expected we'd be sending soldiers, but by the time we arrived, the people were dancing in the streets. I always heard stories of the City of Stone being a dark place where flint-hearted Reachmen worship strange gods. It's not... The people seem happier than I've ever seen, in spite of all our hardships. I wasn't the only one living under my father's shadow, apparently. I can't come and go as I please, but the Blue Palace is lively as any tavern with Mog around. Made him my royal taster. I don't think the thought of being poisoned even crossed <laughs> his mind, but he seems happy so long as the food and drink keeps coming. If you'd said only yesterday I'd play host to Nord rulers from across all Skyrim, I'd have told you that dead would live again before that happened. <sighs> And here we are. <laughs> a day of miracles. Tell me truthful. At last, the monster that nearly brought my lands to ruin has paid the price for his wrongs. I could ask no more. And yet that which was taken has been returned as well. Where is Count Ravenwatch? Hmm. Then, his name and deeds will echo these halls for as long as I sit up. We treat for peace. Our battles with the Grey Host have ravaged all our kingdoms and peoples. We each see. I've need of a counselor. In spite of her treachery, Lady Belaine was a canny advisor. I need that again now, more than ever. Tell the witch. I, I suppose so. Can't just. Lop off her head after she got it back. Wouldn't do for Mara. It's a worthy hold fast, but not so much a city. I would have the land worked, the stone repaired, and the markets expanded. Hmm, well, there. Fair, <laughs> Skull King. Nonsense. Every now and then comes a king of his kind, one who makes stirring pronouncements and promises that his court must. The past would tell me to hate Svargrim's wealth with all my vigor. We've battled and bled for more generations than I can... Hmm. I heard Yorin sired the boy when he was young, but... Looking at the pair, I have a hard time saying who's father and who's whelp. <laughs> Ernskar seems shrewd and dutiful, but... His father casts a long shadow. A wide one, too. <sighs> if you My ears are burning. Is that my name on the wind? Not even this gloomy old stone keep can dampen my spirits. My dreams hold true. Markarth is alive with joy. I'm barely foot to stone and he's clamoring for my attention. I had no mind to stand by a throne when I first started my journey. Now, here we are. I can speak for myself. You have more important matters to attend to. There's a friend who's journeyed a long way to thank you personally for all you've done. 
There's an out-of-the-way chamber in the rear of the keep where you can meet. Now, I should find the art and make sure he thinks. <laughs> I, I can't. Hmm. That wasn't there, is it? Got it. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, my friend. Do forgive my ghastly appearance. Yeah, what the fuck? It seems I spoke too soon when I bade you a final farewell. I'm glad to have the opportunity to see you again, as did I. When I took hold of the Darkstorm's power, I believed it would be the last thing I ever did. It was a force. No, no. As the last of the Dark Heart's power ebbed away, I should have been trapped in Rodder's sanctuary realm. But I was. My soul became part of the Dark Heart, smelted inextricably into the fabric of its existence. Odd. So long as it remains dormant, its hold over me is tolerable. If I am to be wed to this power, then I must ensure that it never gets used again. For that to happen, both the heart and I must... I have no regrets. You gave me the opportunity to reckon with my past and pay penance. This journey has brought closure to the life of Count Verandis Ravenwatch. I have no idea what the future holds, but you seem to be the axis upon which this world turns. If it still has some use for me, Arana said they'd be this way. Come on. Father. You. They said you were gone. I was. And I will be again. We have much to discuss, but I will not be returning to our special watch. But. Uh, who. You three have no more need of a guardian. It's time I put the future of the Raven Watch in your hands. But you'll still visit, right? Every chance I get. I... I don't know what I expected when Arana said there was someone... Uh, no, no, I... Don't mean to give the wrong... Right. <laughs> I didn't imagine it. The truth is, we were already considering the future of the Raven Watch after you returned without Verandas. It seems your vote of confidence is always encouraging. You're to endure as much of the cheer and praise as the Ard and his people can heap upon you. And you're to have absolutely nothing to do with evil vampires. Remember, you're representing House Ravenwatch now. Five Claw, it... Adusa heard that Verandis had been imprisoned in the void, but he's here. There was a time when this one felt more like a nursemaid than compatriot to those two. But Wendis and Fenorian are no... House Raven. Here and gone, here and gone. It's cruel to play with a girl's heart like this. But I'm glad Verandas kept his promise. Ugh. Great! Terrible. Everything in between. I've waited so long for Verandas to stop hovering over my shoulder. But I never thought it would be because he's not around. I can't shed tears for him. It's not what he needs from me. He needs someone to carry on after him. To do the work he can't anymore. So that's what I'll do. Keep his legacy. To that point, the three of us had been talking things over. About the future of House Raven Watch. And given everything you... Don't think it's just Verandas I expect to visit. It'd be nice bumping into you somewhere other than a moldy cavern once in a while. Castle Raven Watch is always open. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to give Verandas an earful. I wonder if something's up to the house in there. Okay. Oh, 
I can't remember where the bloody castle is. Surprise for once. Snow Lily. Oh, Sai. You always know how to. Oh, uh. Hello, partner. <laughs> ah, there you are. I hope you don't mind. I got a bit sidetracked. Braden said there was a mysterious Red Guard looking for me. The way he said it, my first thought was Rada al Saran found his way back, too. But no. Skyrim is a nice place to visit. But I need to see what's over the horizon. And yes, I think that Sai wants to go with me. People like us can't stay out of trouble very long. So let's share a few casks of mead while things are quiet. Oh, I haven't, but I'm sure you can keep them busy for a while longer. Right, partner? Sai and I still have a few... dents. Thank you again for agreeing to it. What? No, never! <laughs> You're always welcome in our company. A good companion. Thank you again for... I had long planned to visit Skyrim and learn about their long history with the dragons. To help in our battle against them. Rada al Saran was an Ansei of great renown. A legend to rival Leki herself. The sword saints are a lost legacy to my people. It's a shame that al Saran did not devote himself to restoring that honorable tradition. Lyris has promised to show me some of the dragon cult's ruins and barrows. With good fortune. Okay. Finally, the guest of honor has arrived. God. Let's have a word before we begin. Not a moment too soon. Kadak's eager to demonstrate that he's the equal of any Nord king. He hopes it will legitimize his claim as king of the Reich. He's not wrong, but he'd look more a fool if I weren't here. That I am. It's a new dawn. For me, for Markarth, for the Reich. After all you've done to bring it back from the brink of oblivion. Putting up with Kadak's arse-headed notion. <laughs> Let's not stretch the bones of Raisin. There'll be no shortage of bickering and cursing in our future, but there's trust. Adventurers, <laughs> come and go as you please. Keep three kings and a jarl biding on their thumbs in a crowded hall. <laughs> Suppose you've earned that right, Rover. Near everybody in this room wouldn't be here. Simply put, I, I like that. In doing what needed doing, you brought all the crowns of Skyrim to one hall. You put the Grey Host back in the ground. Three hands of Markarth, you long-suffering lot. I call my kin. We've survived another long night, darker than we've ever known. But we did not endure it alone. Against the Grey Host, we found unlikely allies and put aside old grudges. Together, we not only survived, we flourished. We owe these miracles to the efforts of all kinds. Reachmen, Nord, Vampire, Outlander, heroes of every stripe. Let us follow their example. We have warred together. We celebrate together. Let us rebuild together. From this day forward, we clash mugs instead of swords. Peace and prosperity to all our kingdoms. Cheers to the heroes of Skyrim. Let us remember them with song and drink. 
We, the children of Skyrim, we shall endure. Good work, partner. It's always a pleasure to fight by your side. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll stick around to raise a glass or two with you. Celebrate our victory. Hey, I initially, not even a little. There are a lot of things I've been meaning to do with Sai that should keep me occupied for a few weeks. That was a much reach blood. No, it was a just war. Never thought I'd set foot in Markarth except to conquer it. Strange times. Strange, but not in time. My hold endures, as we always have. Though we might not have weathered the Harrowstorms without that elixir Fenorian and old Njolin concocted. Better, much better. There's still a pall that hangs over her to the rest of the townsfolk. But at home we're beginning to feel more like a family again. She even smiles <laughs> now. In all my years, I have neither seen nor heard of such a miracle as you deliver today. You must have Shaw's own bond with Mother Wolf for her. This old woman not important enough to merit an invitation, is that it? If you must know, Svana asked me to counsel her on the reach, but I'd have come whether I was invited or not. Can't trust such important matters to the... That I have, that I have. Many times during the vast span of my life, though not in some year, I should think this whole affair taught... Definitely lasts for quite a while. After everything that's happened, I think I'll enjoy a nice, quiet month of Ravenwatch Castle. Ah, who am I kidding? I'll be lucky if a juicer lets us. What's left of the Grey Host may be in shambles, but the leftovers are certain to make trouble elsewhere, even with their Ashen Lord gone. Plus, we'll need to catch up on who else has been up. Oh, you'll be the first to read the naughty list when we've got one. Trust me. You've done the Ravenwatch proud. I don't suppose. <laughs> No, I won't be barricading myself in the library any longer. But someone has to curate our records. Can you imagine a Dusa doing it? But we survived it, even if... Well, I mean... This one is not used to being this close to the center of attention. <laughs> she does not like it. Does a tiger need to be thanked for killing a terror bird? Adusa Daro does not hunt to be appreciated. She hunts because it... Hmm... You think so? That... Is what they are saying true? That the last of the Grey Host is truly dead? Then you have the Pyre Watch's eternal gratitude. I must reach... No. Some of those defending the Bankerai garrison showed interest. But most of them were only seeking a less hazardous post. The Pyre Watch has no... My ancestors must be burying their heads on the far shores at that suggestion. Vampires would be better suited to this eternal vigil than we mortals. But it is our duty. Yes, well, it would... If you told me a season ago that the leader of Western Skyrim would share a dais with the Reach King, I would have laughed in your face. Not much to rebel against now that Arana has made peace with the Ard. We'll stay long enough to deal with any grey horse lurking nearby, and then we'll be on our way. Markarth's not the sort of place werewolves should linger in. To the the survivors asked me to be chieftain, but it's time to let the Ghost Song clan go and begin a new clan. Everyone? Didn't expect more to be here. Salutations! I believe the word you are looking for is for the future High Queen. The spirit. It's strange to see. I think that what, what after years of saber rattling. No matter what befalls Skyrim. I cannot think of it. 
much as anything can. Stone crumbles, forests burn, even Daedra die now and again. This I we've trod in circles with blood and rage clouding our eyes for as long as anyone can remember. But it still doesn't feel real to me. Prince Ernskar is eager to lay out the terms of our new accord, but that's tomorrow's work. After this, my only order of business is to get out of this damned finery. It may be. <sighs> Hey, is it for the main quests? Let's get to these side quests, shall we? Someone who looks strong enough to actually help. These outsiders get crazier every day. I thought, based on what everyone outside the Reach says, that the Reach folk didn't know how to make anything requiring skill. But some of their heads. Silver. Perhaps the one true protection against vampires and werewolves. We need more on it. Okay. Um, how am I going to retrieve? Okay, I definitely need to visit the shops. I'll visit the workshops, but I don't think I can actually research anything. How's doing my frame useful? Find the star. Thank you. 
old master of Lecky's Blade is a traveling teacher now. Only the finest merchandise. Weird. I've heard that the black... to life by Carcine's hinds I still can't believe it aye two of my clan among them still a gambler dream for all of us aye a pleasant one from which I hope we will never wake for a few minutes yet I'm used to seeing her
Snowy! I've been looking all over for you. And it looks like you made a friend, too. Did Snowy bring you here, Strange? Hereta? She probably sent you to find Snowy. She loves that bunny more than life itself. That's why I've been walking around in circles for hours. I can't go back without Snowy. The whistle, of course. I was so angry. I forgot to take it with me. I just hope that when I return with Snowy, Hereta will forgive me. I suppose we need to... Thanks to you, Snowy and I can return to... Come on, Snowy. Let's get you back to Hereta. Witch stories. Nothing but reach stories, mark my words. I don't think we're the first in you. This is Karth Waston, outsider. I wish we could give you a proper welcome, but we still haven't recovered from the storm. Shaman Ulvok is just inside this building. I'll introduce you when we go inside. The spirit sent you to help us, I know it. 
but Shaman Ulvok needs to judge for himself if you can hear our sacred rituals. And he needs to tell the rest of the village. My people distrust outsiders. Things will go easier with his approval. This is Carthwaston. Then let's go inside. But let me talk first. Shaman Ulvok. I couldn't reach the wards, but I think this person can help us. An outsider, I sense. I believe the spirit sent them to us, Master. Do you? Wait outside, apprentice. I will speak to the outsider. Come, outsider. Let me feel your spirit. I sense no deception. I think you may be able to help us. I was afraid she would run into trouble, but she's a good apprentice, one I find myself leaning on more and more since my sight left me and age has taken its toll. There are four wards, each dedicated to one of our revered spirits. You must bring an offering of nature and earth to each of the wards. The fallen branches of willow trees, for they represent the fragility of life. Rocks bathed in moonlight for purity. And husks of the cicada, for they represent a rebirth. Placing the offerings at the four wards isn't... The spirits we revere, we bargain with them out... Revere may be too strong. You see the world with different eyes, outsider. Magic... I've heard the spirits called by that name. It doesn't change who they are or are... You're right, mate. Isn't it obvious? Nocturnal has abandoned us. That's ridiculous, Eamon. We're going to restore the war. Careful, they're delicate. Just have some scrimpy like dogs or like something else at all. Perfect. 
that's all of the offerings. Now we need to place them at the wards. I haven't picked up three offerings, right? Something else on. Decay and ancient darkness. We need to place the offerings at the fore. Spirit of the night, accept this offering and send your crows to guard us. of the hunt accept this offering and make our bounty plentiful Molog Baal, spirit of torment and trouble, accept this and teach us to endure the struggle. The offerings have been placed. Let's return to Shaman Ulvok. Shaman Ulvok, we're back. The offerings have been placed at the wards. I sense the outsider has returned. I feel energy flowing through the land. I suspect you... On behalf of the Croi clan, I thank you, outsider. Since you made the offerings, I must ask you to present yourself at the Ritual Pyre. We are the land, and the land is us. Spirits, accept our offering and restore our wards. Karth Wastin belongs to the Reach. Something has gone wrong. Outsider, come speak to me. I don't understand. The Ritual failed. Yes, but I don't know why the Ritual failed. It was as if the spirits... Be my eyes, Outsider. Examine the Ritual Pyre and see if anything strikes you as odd or out of place. I sense something. The spirits abandon us, Fiolan. We need to leave this place. No. I oversaw the placing of the offerings myself. It should have worked. Of course it failed. You involved an outsider. Something must be interfering with the ritual. It's like never really. Did you find anything to explain? 
I recognize these. They're from a plant that grows beneath Carthwaston. These look wrong. Yes. Before we reclaimed Carthwaston for our clan, outsiders built deep tunnels to exploit the land. I agree. Well, that would have been the Dora from before. No, Eamon. I'm the shaman's eyes. I need to do this. Meet me at the mine, outsider. We need to find the source of this corruption. and rot in here. Let's be ready for anything. Any ghost. Hey, gargoyles. What are these outsiders doing down here? These grey host bastards. Under our very feet this in We've seen them prowling the countryside. But down here in the mine... Let's burn all traces of this plant. And we should knock down a... You're saying they use this plant to create that... Burnt to cinders.
fucking hate that boy. I'm sure if we burn all. Burn. If we take out those pillars, it should damage the mine enough to halt the Grey Host.
Shaman Ulvok. The corruption has been dealt with. The land, its size in the river. Excellent. As before. The corruption is gone, and Karth Waston endures. We ask the spirits to once more bless and defend our home. I feel power returning to the wards. The spirits stand with us once more. The ritual, it worked. The last remnants of the storm seem to be cleared away. The worst of it is finally behind us. And thanks to you, we have our natural defenses in place again. Now that our wards are back in place, I as safe as it can. Fjallan, you refused my counsel at great risk to us all. I, Eamon, I did. You were wrong. This is our home. We couldn't abandon it. I... Fjallan, I'm sorry. You and the outsider made things right. I didn't think an outsider would ever be inclined to help the likes of us. But you proved me wrong. And in doing so, you saved my home. My gratitude? No. But my opinion of you has. You helped me. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. I'll let Fiolan. Almost sounds like, um. What's his name? Uh. Damn it, what's his name? Big <laughs> man. I'm gonna pee and I'm gonna try to cut it. <laughs> I mean, it did sound like a, it was a Scottish accent, so. I don't know. Checking his IMDb, I doubt, I doubt it, but. Yeah, it's not on there. Be right back, I gotta go to the loo. Might pop 
um, out of my chair in a second again because I got the kettle on. Anyway. Next hard quest. Adusa doesn't know what twist of the tale brought you here, but she finds your presence most fortuitous. I could use an extra set of eyes to watch my back. What say you, my friend? Hmm? Are your eyes still sharp? Will you aid this one again? The Lothid, a local clan of vampires, terrorizes the countryside from their lair in the ruins below us. This one convinced young Cathad to leave this clan of criminals. Or so I thought. For some reason, he returned to them. This troubles me. Adusadaro was close to saving a vampire from a life of crime. Why Cathad went back to his clan, I do not know. 
But I am not ready to give up on him just yet. Will you help me extract Cathard from the Lothed clan, Five Claw? The Dwarven apparatus will take us into the bowels of the mountain, to the Reachwind depths, the ruins that now serve as the lair of the Lothed clan and their leader, Boss Trenlor. Meet Adusa there, Five Claw, and we will find Cathard together. Because this one asked you to. If that isn't enough, this one met Cathard when he first became a vampire. Before, another vampire. A friend, or so I thought. The Lothid is a... Oh. Must Adusa paint you a picture? This way, Five Claw. Follow me. Gonna stop playing the ignorance for some of these. Um hat prompts. Hold five claw. Adusa has a plan. Adusa has scouted these ruins and come up with a plan. This one will barge in through the front door, confront boss Trenlor, and try to determine where Cathod is. Meanwhile, you go in through the sluice gate along the wall to the south. No, Five Claw. Even the two of us would be hard pressed to defeat the entire Lothed clan. Well, this one figures out where Cathod is. You, if the meeting. Remember, Five Claw. Watch. Then come to my rescue if things go badly. I wonder if there's gonna be Salma down here. I'm not the old cartridge. There's three more. Three more. Fucking hell, how many are there? Swarm one. Alright. Who's that one? Hmm, look at that. It's gone like magic. Like a telescope. That uh, outswings me. Believe.
Sadaro of the Raven Watch. Cathard told me to expect you. <laughs> Let me talk to Cathard, Tremor. Sounds like um Cathard returned for his love. So I sent him to her. What's his name? I banished them to the deep tombs. The um honest trailer guy. She is here too? Freilith bit above her station. As for Cathard, you can join him. Toss her in the deep tombs. No. You should have listened to reason, Mark. I'm trying to save the clan. I'm coming. No, not there for training. I'm not there. That worked better than this one expect. Adusa loves it when a plan comes together. This worked out better. No, not exactly. This one hoped not to get overpowered by Boss Tremor's lackeys and played alive. After that, I was going to improvise. This is much better, yes. We are in the deep tombs. Cathad is here, somewhere. We should find him. Good. I didn't think these monsters could over- Convince him to leave. Lothed Plan is no place for a sane and honorable- <sighs> Freilith, she- we traveled together a long time ago, before I joined the Raven Watch. Freilith made a reappearance when I was first trying to recruit Cathad. She befriended him, lured him away. This, it looks like an ancient dwarven prison. Guys, lost into mine.
Oh, I'll come to the side of a second window with push me into the air. Very good fighting on Oops, there must be hair fans. Must they look like hair fans? Bullet for freedom. Blood fans. Quickly, five clips. We're gonna buff them. Favorite, but I don't hate it. Stay behind me, beloved. Oh, Adusa. What are you doing here? We came to save you, Kathad. Talk to him, Five Claw. I'll watch the door. You and Adusa shouldn't be down here. Boss Trenlor, he's not the sort of vampire who's quick to forgive and forget. I know what Adusa expects of me. I want to join the Raven Watch, I really do. But I can't leave my loathed brothers and sisters in this deplorable state of ex- Boss Trenlor turned this once great clan into a gang of common criminals. He makes us plunder the countryside, kidnap mortals to feed upon. And if anyone objects, Freylith has a plan. A way to replace Boss Trenlor and choose a new leader. Someone who wants to improve the Lothid instead of aggrandizing their own position. I encountered Adusa shortly after I... Freylith brought me here. Boss Trenlor turned... I apologize for my horrid appearance. I assure you, if I wasn't half starved because of that bastard Trenlor, I'd make a much better impression. Among Boss Trenlor's many vices, he loves to be entertained. So every night they throw him a party. A celebration of blood using a captured mortal. A wild beast or, or what? Not just evil. Deranged and cruel. He treats them. If you go down into the blind. That's too long. Yeah, I'm guessing that's about that other class is. Strange. What a guess. Under the river. Middle. There's a farmer. Guys, that's how. Don't think they have eyes. Oh, 
gone. Sorry, mate. This place is full of mushrooms. Look sharp, Five Claw. Remember those guys being excessively tough in the uh, Skyrim. That's it, Five Claw. Now, let's find that lift Freyleth mentioned. Didn't attack me. One moment, Five Claw. This, before we hand over the mushroom, this one, when this one first became a vampire, she was alone, confused. Freyleth took Adusa under her wing, trained her, guided her. She was exactly what I needed. But she also wasn't. Freyleth may not be the monster that Traylor is, but she is no fragile flower. Talk to Cathard, Five Claw. Tell him what you found. She didn't have to die, Freyleth. We couldn't have her raise the alarm, Cathard. This only works if Trenlor suspects nothing. Transactions are right. There is no reason for another member of the clan to die, but Freylith refuses to see it that way. Still, we need to. Good. 
Then we're that much closer to completing Freya. You need to get past the clan members to reach Trenlor's throne. Then just drop the mushroom into his chalice of blood. We'll already taken care of. You look perfect. Now sneak in the boss Trenlor's court and place the mushroom. How did I get some bloody skill points? Just glitch. A stolly sweet roll. Dogs in here. Slave, bring me my chalice. I thirst. Boss Trenlor got exactly what he deserved. And now, I want to talk to our friend here. Let's go, Kathad. Freylith has chosen her path. It's time you took another. <laughs> Did you see the expression on that bastard's face? We made him pay for all the pain. And it did its job splendidly. He certainly looks infinitely weaker to me. I'm sorry I deceived you, but look around. Do you see one face? Trenlor was a monster. This was the only... Oh, darling, no. Cathod has too much damn virtue in his blood for my taste. Get it from Medusa, no doubt. Lothid is my clan. We are free, my brothers and sisters. Let us drink to the Lothid clan and its new leader, me! Oh, don't worry. I didn't poison all of the chalices. 
I wanted to save the clan. Not like this. Leaving me, Cathar? Fine. Go join your precious cat and pretend not to be the monster you are. Raylith lied to us, but the clan is better off in her hands than Boss Trenlor's. I'm ready to join this the This one hates being used. Boss Trenlor needed to be dealt with, but there was no honor in how that played out. Absolutely. Cathod risked everything to save his clan. He performed admirably, despite Freylith. There are more... This one needs to get Cathod settled. Count Varandis, Gwendis, Fanorian. We came here to look into the threat posed by the Grey Host. For now, nothing. If the love it. Hey. Back in a few seconds. Okay, next quest. I'm going to treat you to okay for now. Oh, wait, that. Can't just eat a sweet roll. It's I didn't think it was that high. Take it you got my message? Problem. More like an opportunity. 
And it all has to do with these letters we found on the Grey Host leaders at the Reachwood Ritual Site and Valthium. Well, I can't argue with that description. Sai Sahan is certainly all those things and more. We were on our way to Markarth to meet Savanna when we decided to help out the locals with their Grey Host problem. Maybe nothing. But for Sai, maybe everything. We think there's a third letter out there. Sai's in Gloomreach trying to acquire it. Go help him while I finish. What? You have a problem with me and Sai spending some quality time together killing Grey Host vampires? Maybe even find a few moments to be alone? Anyway, he came to see me and then agreed to help. Maybe nothing, but for... Thanks, partner. It's not the letters that... You're gonna have to trust me on this one, partner. Oh, it's so defensive she was. So I need to be so aggressive. I was just asking the question. Still running around out here, hmm? A lady might start to feel Well, I may as well tell you. Your past advice helped me immensely. I feel as though I Oh I'd rather not say if you don't mind. I tend to bring them up too much in conversation as it is. And while I like to think we sh No, not exactly. But maybe I should. Gods, with all that house. Ah, we're gonna delve. We have a delve, people. Sigic, did the oh. order send you, my friend? I'm a new recruit, but perhaps you know my mentor, Master Pithis. I could act. In summary, my master and I are members of the Sigic Order. I, however, when I was inside the cave, I greatly appreciate your help, friend. Well, they start. Plants are much. Master Pithis is my mentor. He's a genius. I certainly hope not. Mm. Careful now, don't be tempted to eat that. Oh my, I fear something has gone horribly wrong. It's just as I feared. 
This plant radiates total. It's a strange Dwemer phenomenon. As a new recruit, I'm still learning, but I know its effect on the natural world can be catastrophic. Master Pythas said it would be fine, but I must have damaged the relic more than I thought. Well, Master Pythas had me use a transportation spell to get it here. When we arrived, he noted the relic had sustained a bit of damage from my rather poor attempt. Master Pythas took it with him into the cave. That has to be it. The relic is leaking tonal energy, and the effects won't stop. We need to... How are you doing? Here?
contain the magic with a time slowing spell. Good. That should slow the effect. Expect to like affect these animals in a mine.
Please. Did my foolish apprentice send you? Not quite. The artifact is mine. You cannot battle me. Did you find anything in the he what? Let me see that. I sent Did my foolish apprentice sent you. Oh great. The artifact is mine. You can't found out. I almost had him that time. We must return the relic to its right.
Are you fucking kidding me? Step away to deal with a stray werewolf and someone steals my prize? So, what did you find in the coffer? It warms my heart to see you again, my friend. I take it you came at Lyris's behest? Now tell me, let me have a look. Yes, this is what I was seeking. The third letter between the vampire leaders. But I was afraid of this. They don't tell the complete story. That's my Snow Lily. She would never betray my confidence. Not even to a trusted partner such as yourself. I, however, before becoming a vampire, Radha al Saran was a Red Guard swordmaster who once battled Leki to a standstill. According to the letters, he lost his ability to manifest a Shihai, his spirit sword. Then he met the Reach. That's what I was hoping to learn. But the letters failed to provide. Lyris went to her. It's what the Reach folk call their lore keepers. It was purely by chance. When Lyris... Anyone can learn anything from anybody. If they are patient, I'm not an expert on Reach Law. Because Lyris is as unique and as beautiful... I will make a slight detour.
hurry before it becomes too unstable to move. We must return. much to discuss, Callis. That was closer than I would have liked. We're lucky Master Larama found us just in time. Yes. With Larama's help, the relic was safely transported back to Arteum. My time-slowing spell seemed... I suppose I'll need to explain that, provided the Order doesn't already know. I suspect that since Larama is here, it means they do. Hard to say. I suspect it will mostly return. I hope our paths cross... Well... As I don't know. It's a good thing I arrived when I did. There are not many who could have completed that spell alone. Right? This location was being magically concealed until moments ago, when there was a large spike in tonal power. I was tasked to investigate the theft of a relic. From I suspected something of the sort. If what you say is true, then Callis has... It will be all right, Callis. I intend to make sure this doesn't mar your reputation in the Order. Well, that is most appreciated, Master Larama. Thanks. Since you search for knowledge outside of what song do you seek? Something brings you to this sacred place outside of. I sense your desire for knowledge. Speak and tell me what song you seek. That is a rare and ancient tale, one not often spoken of, let alone shared with those from beyond the clans. Tell me, outsider, why does this story matter to you? Tesfera has told all who will listen about the handsome red guard and the blonde giant who walks at his side, about what they did for her clan. Very well. What specifically about the tale interests you and your friends? Ah, yes. Red Eagle was a great warrior as well as a great teacher. All I can tell you is that an ancient cave sits below this sacred redoubt. If this particular song is meant for you and your friends, you will find the answers you seek there. We just got here, partner. What did you find out? Oh. Back in two seconds. No, grab. 
Snip, snip. Got here just in time to hear the very end of your conversation with the Vatishran partner. Want to fill me in on the parts we missed? I appreciate that the Reach folk noticed. You'd be surprised how often what we do is taken for granted. If you can find that cave, Sai and I will follow shortly. I want to check something I learned in Hroldan Ring with the Vatishran. This must be the place. Hey, partner. Let's talk. The Vatishran was willing to open up a bit more. Must have been my shining personality. She suggested that we'd find something important in this cave, but that we might have to work to uncover it. The Vatishran explained that the Reach folk have a story concerning Red Eagle and a fallen sword saint. How they met in this cave to exchange knowledge. Since that time, the cave has been left alone. Who knows what's beneath all the undergrowth? You clear the undergrowth. Sai and I will be ready to extract whatever we find. Destiny awaits. Another verse. Your turn, Sai. <laughs> Clear your mind, Red Eagle. Don't surrender to the fates. Fill your heart. With the song that makes it roar. And let your spirit, your love, and your life, let it soar. Then it will come to you, your love, your life, your sword. Of course, Sai. Don't you see? You never fight for what you want, only for what others need. I think I understand. I think I know the meaning of this ancient song. I think the song tells us that Red Eagle had to clear his mind before he could embrace his destiny. That he had to fill his heart with the thing he loved the most. For Red Eagle, that was his people. For Rada al Saran, probably his grey host.
Sai always lets his duty guide his actions. He fights for others. For what they need. For the greater good. He needs to decide what he truly wants to fight for. Only then can he claim. Hey, partner. I think we figured it out. Ancient legends, old songs. It's all up to Sai now. The Shihai. It's a sacred and private thing to a Red Guard. I tried to help Sai. Told him what I thought. What happens next? That's up to him. Thanks for your help, partner. If we're keeping score, I owe you. A lot. Now I need to talk to Sai. I think I understand, Sai. You need to put aside your duty, just this once, and focus on what you want. Duty isn't easily set aside for someone like me, Snow Lily. Focus, Sai. Just this once. Fill your heart with what you need. Reach out, Red Eagle. Your destiny awaits. Surrender to the If I hadn't heard the Chief of Chiefs' words with my own ears, I'd think this another trick of the hated Six Fords. Still, you have your task, outsider. Get on with it already. What's to be happy about? I'll abide by the Chief of Chiefs' counsel, but I can't imagine a blood bond between us and the Six Ford clan. I just hope the lad's worthy of Eslin. If not, he won't last much past the ceremony, if I know my daughter. Eslin's my one and only. She's got four older brothers, but she's the fiercest child I've ever whelped. Eagle Seer blood runs strong through her veins. Thank Ball. Madera needs to mind their edges. Not that the Six Fords give much mind to anything. Eh, that has nothing to do with you, outsider. Do as the Chief of Chiefs bids, so we can get on with this. The Chief of Chiefs is crafty, I'll give her that. Using an outsider for shame, the Six Fords, and us too, I suppose. Not the best way to start a marriage, but I've seen worse. 
Chief Eagle Seer is my brother. I love him and his daughter dearly, but this feud has been going on since longer than anyone can remember. Not even the Vasistrons know how it started. This attempt at the reconciliation will go exactly as the others. When all the drama has come to an end, the Eagle Seers and the Six Fords are still going to hate each other. Nothing will change that. As for my niece, <laughs> she won't do anything she doesn't want to. I'd feel sorry for Madeiran if he wasn't a Six Ford. This isn't the time or place for such talk outsider. Not with the Chief of Chiefs looking on. The Chief of Chiefs is allowing you to go to the Handfasting Cave? Outsider, when you see Madarin, no, forget he said anything. Yes. No. Give Madarin and the Eagle Seer woman your blessing, outsider. Just as the Chief of Chiefs instructed. Each of us have a part to play in this fiasco, including me. Opposed? Look, Madarin and I grew up together. I want what's best for him. And now they're binding him to some Eagle Seer Hellion, and I... I've said too much. Go. Give your blessing. Let... First, the Chief of Chiefs demands all for my son to the cursed. What should I be? Not only am I forced to endure the presence of the Eagle Seers, I must allow my son Madern to marry one of them. The Chief of Chiefs asks much of us. But I will not let my son go unattended. Madern is an adequate scout, but he's a sorry hunter and an abysmal fighter. I suppose if there's any good in all this, it's that Chief Eagle Seer is fool enough to accept such a poor match for his daughter. That is none of your business, outsider. I am here and doing as my chief of chiefs demands. Let us leave it at that. I'm just checking something real quick. Chiefs, please! Ah, The Outsider. I'll speak to you over here. Is it done, Outsider? Did you offer your blessing to the... I can't lead those infernal scratchings. Only Chief Eagle Seer and his daughter... No, this is unacceptable. This handfasting must take place. I need you to find them and bring them back, Outsider.
You see the animosity between these clans. They have fought and spilled each other's blood for generations. I finally got them to agree to a compromise. A bond of peace predicated on the marriage of Eslin and Madern. Please, you must find them. They must have gone north. Otherwise, they would have had to pass us and we would have seen them. Search the area to the north of the ring and track them down. I'll keep the chiefs distracted. Thank you for helping with this. Remind Ezin and Dropping things don't. Quiet, Eslin. Someone's coming. Where are you following us, outsider? We may be young, but we're still warriors of the Reach. You won't find us to be easy prey. I am sure she does, but I'm not going back. Not while the Chief of Chiefs and my father plan to marry me off like some imperial princess. I don't even know if I want to marry at all. And my father and the chief of chiefs parade me around the reach, saying I'm to be wed to a sod I've never laid eyes on before. Madern has his own reasons to shirk the hand fasting, so we both ran. It's not fair of them to put that responsibility on our shoulders. It's a worthy idea, but why do we have to be the ones to carry it out? I won't be forced into a marriage, because our people can't stop killing each other. This whole situation makes me so angry. Didn't the Chief of Chiefs tell you? I am the daughter of Chief Eagleseer. Or I was. I have half a mind to exile myself and cut all ties to my damned clan. I tell you, I won't be the barter that ends the feud. I won't. This may seem like the perfect spot to ambush us. I don't like breaking my word to the Chief of Chiefs, but I can't go through with the hand fasting. I can't marry Esselin. I... I'm already pledged to another. Drisen of the Six Ford Clan. Before her brother died, I promised I would marry her and look after her. How can I break one obligation to honor another? Even for the sake of our clans. No. We did our hand fasting in secret. Drisen is a good woman. There's little love between us, but I gave her brother my word before he died. And Esselin clearly doesn't want to marry me. I want to end this feud. But there has to be another way. This feud is older than these crags. I doubt anyone knows its cause. A Vadishran might know. They keep the history of the clans. If we learned the reason for the feud, maybe we could end it. Then we wouldn't need the damned hand fasting. A Varishran named Barth visited the Sick Ford once. My father spoke highly of him. I know that name. He visited us too. He has a camp in the hills southeast of here. Asking the Vatishran about the origin of our feud, that's as good an idea as any. With a father as fierce as Chief Sixford, I didn't meet him when he came. It's a thin, even before, his name is Bart. It's a thin, as much as my father might wish otherwise. Thank you. 
cool. This is his camp, but where's the Vatashram? I don't like the look of this. That's the Vatashram Shalali. He wouldn't just leave it behind. That's a Thornwood clan knife, used for dark magic. The Thornwood clan uses the ruins over the hill. Their witches must have taken their Vatishra. We have to help him. Without weapons, we'll just get in the way. Alright, now the delve. This one looks bloody big. Damn the Thornroot clan. You've come to the wrong place, outsider. Briar Rock belongs to the Thornroot clan. They... The Thorn... You'll fight... When the... These are... Where the... When the Grey Host came... You used to be... A... Aye... Alright. I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and want to check out the Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wetos96. Uh, um, I should be on tomorrow for some more of this. I'm just hopping off now because I want to clean this thing up. But yeah. Until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.